standing now is Lisa Halteman and Nicole Hutchinson. Thank you guys very much. A fifth grader said, I love math. Can I please move up to the smart math class? The teacher said, you are exceptional at math, but your average standardized reading scores will keep you with math students at the same reading level. The stamped out, the standardized industrial education one. Experts, Daniel Pink, Howard Gardner, Ken Robinson, Marva Collins tell us that this is still going on even today now that we're in conceptual age. We need something different. What do you dream for your kids, grandkids, nieces and nephews education? There is an emerging alternative, relational education, synthesized a century ago by Charlotte Mason, a revolutionary educator who taught us this. We treat children as persons, not as machines. Research tells us that we, persons, learn best through story, relationships, and ideas that feed the mind. So, we invite students to this banquet where they feast with the great thinkers on ideas through books that are rich in story and passion. Third graders meet Archimedes and recreate his discoveries. Middle schoolers recite Langston Hughes. Seniors converse with Seth Godin about linchpins and unwittingly, they join the grand conversation. Don't we engage in the grand conversation at Starbucks or at TEDx talks with our friends? Education can be this. In fact, education must be this. Nurturing student talk, student questioning about ideas, rather than teacher lecture and teacher questioning about dry facts. The life of the mind is sustained on ideas and a variety of ideas, just as the body is sustained on food. So, the feast has to be generous and broad. We offer all students nature study, picture study, handiwork, Shakespeare, Spanish in kindergarten, real life algebraic problem solving, science inquiry. All students are challenged, discovering talents and interests that may have lain dormant for a lifetime. The results? The Renaissance kid. She loves to learn, she knows much, and she cares about what she knows, so she acts on it. That's who I want collaborating with me, inventing for me, repairing me, leading me. That fifth grade student, that was me. Because the industrial age model was in place, my school was not able to give me the ideas I was craving for when I asked for more math. I am very grateful for my life journey. And I do wonder, you know, what could have been if I'd been in a relational school? Let's get moving with relational education, feeding minds. kids of my own I couldn't agree more um, and I'm always amazed sometimes when I look at what my kids do education has changed so much and it's so different I feel like I wish I could go back to school um, with some of the thoughts now but that's really really pulling us forward thank you so much <laughs> 